Not even wasting no time, bro. God damn. Um. Shout out Duty, man. <laughs> shout out, shout out Duty. Wouldn't even know about this shit if um, he didn't post about it. Caribou and the Yachty situation got worse, and Mitch and Yachty situation is now worse as well. Let's just. Let's see what, what the fuck, let's, let's see what the fuck going on, man. I thought shit had got, got better, but apparently not. People telling me just ignore it and drop, but that's all I ever wanted to do. And I'm not able to because I'm in a horrible situation with yeah. bad, bad I didn't people. even know this shit was going on, so. These people would do anything they can to hurt you and make you look crazy in the media. You know, if I was to be real about this whole situation, it's clear as day that it's only going downhill for Caribou. I done made tons of different videos on her, going all the way back to when she was blowing up with that whole on the radar freestyle. And she was really the most praised artist in concrete, to be honest with you. But we all knew that took a huge turn a few months ago. Not just because she was kicking concrete and Lil Yachty exposing her this for a few things, but her own fans will tell you right now that oh. she's losing herself. And it got so bad that people... Where she went live? Ah, oh, hell no. Wait, let me see this shit. Wait, before we even get any further, let me see this shit. Caribou uh, live, uh, IG live. <laughs> uh, three weeks ago. So this was, did she talk about Yachty and this shit? Or did she just, <laughs> she's just screaming. Is she, is she just gonna cry or what? I just have some things to say, bro. Should I do it? Oh. I gotta do it. It's time to do it. I can't even fucking understand what you're saying, bro. Bro, I speak already. It. Nigga. Shit ain't no game. Okay. And whoever else. You don't need to be free. <laughs> Help me. You just, you just, you just, like, so fucking. This shit What's corny. Up? This shit is so corny. I see. Caribou, when are you gonna drop? When are you gonna drop? <clears throat> oh. But ask her when she's gonna drop and don't give a fuck when she drops. But, but answer that. Um. Answer to that question. When am I gonna drop? Bro, I don't care. You know what? I don't care because she's not even fucking at the point or saying anything. People were assuming so. that she was on drugs. I didn't already show y'all in my previous video. Oh, this is okay. This is lie. just a And story. even her replying to academic, you can really see the damage of what this situation is doing to her. And she let us Damn. know a couple weeks ago when she went live or something like that, right? She told okay. us, yo, I've been silenced for three months. And y'all know she's been doing this thing where she keep telling us, yo, things are going to be revealed soon. Y'all going to get the truth from my side. She's been like saying that. that. She keeps saying She ain't got shit to reveal. Like, what? What does she have to reveal, bro? What the fuck does she have to reveal that hasn't already been said, bro? Like, this shit's been going on. I'm sick of hearing Caribou speak. <laughs> you know? Um... She just fucking. Does. She so don't got shit to say. To though. expose, you know what's happening. What is the yeah. truth? Then, if you saying Yachty ain't right about the things that he's saying, then what is your side? Now, right. of course, I'm not saying that Caribou is wrong, but I don't know how many times right. she has spoken her side with right. no proof. So for the fans and people right. that just want to know what's going on, it's really been hard to believe and feel bad. I saw the uh, her exposing Yachty was on like drugs or some shit, or sold his soul or some shit. Um. And then everybody went silent again on her. So I don't even know what escalated with that or what happened with that. But I think that's going to be explained. From what she's saying. And for the past two weeks, you know, I let things cool down to see if, you know, she will update us on any music or her whole situation. But recently I got sent. This is what I saw. A few screenshots, right, of her trying to expose the industry, the music industry. And I heard that she's been explaining that her whole situation is worse than what we think it is. So let's see what she got to say. But the first screenshot, she said, every time someone tried to speak up and tell the truth about this game, these evil, wealthy, powerful, dishonest, soulless people, it never goes good. And these people would do anything they can to hurt you and make you look crazy in the media. So when these victims try and tell the truth, they just end up receiving so she's much She's literally backlash. making every other fucking statement except for what she did wrong and not accepting her fucking her sin, bro. <laughs> she's literally just going for the media 
because she knows she fucked up, so she's doing anything in her power to just shit on everybody else because she knows she fucked up. That's what I. That's what I'm looking at it like, you know. Flash and hate. No one believes them, and it's almost like there's no point. That's why nobody ever says anything until 10 years later. One person decides to speak up, and then everyone else comes forward. Then all of a sudden, everyone cares and feels bad, but it's too late then. And this screenshot right here is already crazy because. Huh? No one like believes what? them, and it's almost like there's no point. That's why nobody ever says anything until 10 years later. One person decides to speak up, and then everyone else comes forward. Then all of a sudden, everyone cares and feels bad, but it's too late then. And this screenshot right here is already crazy because she's describing her situation, literally. People telling me just ignore it and drop, but that's all I ever wanted to do. And I'm not able to because I'm in a horrible situation with bad, bad people. I have been making music this whole time. It's sitting there ready to go. All I can do is keep working and praying for protection guidance and strength to figure this out because she will update us on everything else but she wasn't making it clear like hey something is happening right now i'm not able to do this and a lot of her fans would be confused but now that you think about everything yadi said that she was doing wrong and that she did to down downsize and belittle people and shit and then she says that shit it just like kind of doesn't <laughs> doesn't fucking you know like it doesn't even say it doesn't even really show that she's really saying you know if she would she, i don't believe she wrote that shit number one if she was to say it on a like a video or some shit then i believe it but it's like i can't really believe that she said that even after everything that yadi exposed that she did behind the scenes with concrete and shit so i don't even really believe all that like after the fact that you got caught trying to make your fans love you again shit like i'm i'm, I'm good you know i'm, I'm cool man. He's keeping it clear like hey i can't drop right now it's starting to make sense and there's another screenshot where she says stop worshiping false idols and of course i don't see a problem with what caribou is saying because we hear things if you got some information on yadi spill it that's the thing i'm gonna say because i she doesn't have shit that's that's why bro she keeps giving these small little detailed messages and then there's nothing behind it it's like she's trying to make herself the fucking hero even though she fucked up and got exposed it's like it kind of you know what i mean like it doesn't show that you're even really the the good person behind this after everything yadi said and that's all i'm thinking about when i'm watching these videos it's kind of like i know everything caribou did and fucked up on i don't know shit about what yadi's done that she's claiming he's done or you know so I things like this all the time from artists she's just another artist that's going through this situation but here's the problem we hear about this when it's already too late because i ain't sticking up for caribou i'm not sticking up for yachty i don't really care that much but see everything was fine when you were making your money and living this rapper lifestyle you know what i'm saying the money the jewelry the clothes and everything the numbers it was blinding you when everything was going well but the minute things don't work out with your label or higher ups in the music industry or something like that right they finally realize the situation that they're in and how how messed up it is but they don't know this is something that you could have handled and avoided a long time ago yeah. i know it's sad to say but i gotta yeah. tell the truth if she ends up coming across this video yadi might be a weird guy he might be whatever to you you know what i'm saying the industry might be a little weird but you put yourself in this position things right. were good at first but it hurt you in the long run and i remember her saying she wanted to be an actor or something like that you know what i'm saying and she was only rapping so she could build a name and eventually get into it because i'm sure y'all remember she was yadi's assistant right so of course this ain't something that she expected at the end but now that you're in a tough situation, you 900k in debt, and it's not just any label. This is a very known label that's you know that done a lot. Just like Max, a lot of artists wrong. You know what I'm saying? You know everything that she's <laughs> saying, Caribou. It Sorry. ain't bad, but people only gonna look at you crazy right now because we didn't heard this a million times from different artists that had horrible deals, horrible situation, and not only that, bro. It's just too. If you're not okay. a prof, all right, bro. We'll trade. After working with me, like, shut up, nigga. You interrupting a bit, nigga. And like, different artists that had horrible deals horrible situation and not only that bro it's just too late and like you said the fans been begging you to drop you know what i'm saying because that's the best thing you could have done at this situation but you obviously can't drop music right now i know the situation look horrible <laughs> this performance was funny you could have done that because nobody was in that crowd she was saying that to a crowd of like nobody right it was either this one or a different crowd but she was <laughs> she was saying this shit to like 
She and she can't even say who ain't write it when after the fact that she, he he called you out, you went and made songs after the fact that he called you out for not writing any of shit. You can't say that. You didn't, bro. <laughs> like the fact that she even even said that shit is like crazy. You didn't write the cipher, and then after the fact that Yadi called you out for not writing the cipher and that he wrote it for you, you didn't go out and write a song yourself because Yadi called you out for not writing your cipher. It's like. It doesn't fucking add up. You can't say that after the fact he get caught for not writing something, bro. We are four minutes in. We are getting ten minutes. I just can't drop music right now. I know the situation look horrible right now, but who else can you blame? You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember she said she was having label issues probably like six months ago, seven months ago. I made a whole video about it, but it probably was. Would have been better if you said that back then when you was having those label I know. issues. I, but I haven't of, seen nobody say no. Where's the music? So. What you're I saying mean, is people have no like, choice but to look bro, at I'm you. Forgotten about Caribou after the fact that this shit happened, bro. You know, the only reason I ever remember Caribou is a thing, <laughs> and her name is it's because of this shit, bro. Because this kind of controversy shit. Crazy, or just look at you like another artist. Okay, no and I'm just keeping it real. Of course, I'm not hating. I do like her with music. I've been making videos about her even on my second channel a long time ago. I know y'all finna say. I, mean, I used to have fucking uh the same the same thoughts, but I just can't look at her the same after after what happened, bro. I might be the only one. I might be the one in fucking a thousand. So, I. Psh, my guy, I'm a hater. Then I guess I don't know. <laughs> but if you were, you know, getting what Yadi said she was she was doing to you know the people and be little and niggas you would hey you know for Lil Yachty. No, I'm a fan of both. I don't really that. care that much. I'm not on nobody's side. I'm just making it clear like how everybody else is saying her saying this on her story and doing all these rants. Again, I'll say it again with the with the with the good music, bad person shit. You know? It's just a matter of that. It's like I I fuck with your music, I don't fuck with you. That's that's how it's gonna be, I guess. To stuff, I it's know. not gonna get her nowhere at all. We can't act like this ain't. But I don't give a fuck about your music. <laughs> then we're tons of different artists. That's all I'm saying. And one of it's the controversy reactions shit is gonna get me canceled. Things for her to do right now is obviously keep the fans updated, and not only that, take advantage of the clout that you have. Of course, she might. What I do in this situation, I'm sorry, I keep pausing. I really am. But what I do is just drop and try and get your people to just the people that still support you at least just to stop or just didn't forget about this shit i keep dropping music anyway that's what i do i feel like if, if you're you're just you're feeding in more and then getting people to 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 stop supporting you more i guess that's what i i don't i could be wrong and then i'm wrong the fuck i don't care that much <laughs> I don't care like Yachty did wrong what he did or her fans might fight. not like it, but he did give her a spotlight. You know what I'm saying? He helped her out. He gave her a career. This. But the best thing to do right now, because the situation is bad, take advantage of it. You still got fans out there. Maybe they just want to hear your voice sometimes. You could do something where you just posting reels. I don't know. Because the way you saying it, Caribou, the only way you're going to get out this situation is if you pay up or you find some miracle. So that's why I'm that's saying that I you should try basically. and figure out some way you could take advantage of the clout that you have, the name that you have. Because the worst thing that you could do right now is sit around and let your fans be clueless that's the last thing you want to do because you don't want to wait all the way until next year when you finally get out this deal or something Try like that something right then you drop some music and it doesn't hit i mean i said it in a dumbed down way but he you know you know he, he said it like in a you know in a cool smart way i guess not be popping as much as your other songs or something family. like that and then now people are saying that you fell off you know you don't want that because i know it's a lot of y'all out there that's saying yo caribou is done bro after that whole situation bro <laughs> she's been exposed her career is over but i know for that's sure that's what i said a little bit too i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie but you know you was spitting on people and 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 you know be little people you, you yeah Nigga, people like out there that feel like she could still do somewhat decent with her career and i don't know if caribou got a man i don't know she dropped she dropped a crazy song um you know i'll give her, her flowers but i don't like her as a person that's what it's gonna be for with me and that's what it has been with me from a bunch of different artists this is how it literally is with a bunch of different artists with me right now like just just like you know i fuck with your music i don't fuck with you as a person that's that's just that's what niggas gotta you know and the other thing is 50 50 like drop music move on um wait and and let people 
continue to talk about it and end up being fanned out. That's you, you two options. That's literally your two Dude, options. Or Mitch is still managing her or something like that. I don't know who her team is or anything I like that. I got it summed up. Like, I don't got a You should you know definitely I mean? have a PR team or somebody <laughs> like, out there like guiding her, telling her the right, right. things to That's, do. Yeah. Because being an artist and going crazy That's online right. is crazy. She could have been had somebody tell her, yo, hey, you can chill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, different artists. I know Carrie will be posting That's times when she happy and stuff like that. She's on FaceTime, whatever, friends, whatever. Y'all be sending me all types of stuff. But there's no reason for every two weeks we are she talking about them in them stories bro what the fuck are right, getting <laughs> something new some rant or whatever and the only reason i'm keeping y'all updated is because i've been talking about caribou i know i have an audience that love caribou and stuff like that of course some of y'all don't my bad you know what i'm saying but for the people that do this is for y'all you know what i'm saying but instead of me yapping about the things that she could do i'm gonna go ahead and just pass it to charcy every time it feels like she's about to just stay oh, quiet so. and just move on from the situation she comes back and just starts saying how she's silent and now she's going on saying that this the music is what i said Every time it feels like she's about to just stay quiet and just move on from the situation, she comes back and just starts saying how she's silenced. And now she's going on saying that the music industry... You're not silenced by nobody. You just don't got nothing to say. Because... <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's just a bunch of stupid cap shit. It's, it's like, evil and that they're trying to keep her you, quiet. You ain't got shit to say. What could you say that would that would help your situation right now? What could you say? Honestly, what could you say? Come on. And I honestly want to believe her and feel bad for her, but <laughs> you waited till things got bad to exactly. say all these things. And we may never get the truth on what's really happening behind the scenes. So everything is just speculations as of right now. But if Caribou honestly wanted to drop music, she could just like leak the songs or even put it on SoundCloud. I'm pretty sure that's what Ari's doing. put it on IG like Drake doing. You know? So if she can't fight through this, honestly, I say just move into the next chapter in your life. I'm pretty yeah. sure she said she wanted to do acting just, before she went to I, I'm going. I'm not going to lie. Just do the acting. Don't drop no music. Don't don't try and continue to front for the next three four months that you have shit to say because you don't. Just move on to acting. I'm not going to go. Use it. So why That's not do that? Truth. You can start doing honest. some of those YouTube <laughs> short films or even a small movie budget film. YouTube don't short have... films is crazy. In the next fuck. chapter in your life. I'm pretty sure she said she wanted to do acting before she wants to do music. So why not do that? You can start yeah. doing some of those YouTube short films <laughs> or even a small movie budget film. It don't have to be nothing crazy. I... Seeing her in a, in a movie is something I would not be here for. Like, I, bro, I don't know. I, I want to see that. I actually, I, I actually, I want to see that. I want to see how that plays out for her. I want to see how that plays start, out. But at least it's something. And this go, go, go sign with Netflix. Get you, yeah. Get you a bang in that. See how that, see how that Everybody plays just... out. That's what you should do. That's exactly it don't have to be nothing do. crazy at the start, but at least it's something. And this is not me telling Caribou to just quit music or just drop all that. It's just whatever's happening behind the scenes that's stopping you from dropping music, it's not helping you. So you should probably just put it to the side and move on to something else for right now. Because I'm going to be real with you. Everything you're saying about the industry and them silencing you and you not being able to drop music, people don't care, bro. <laughs> I'm going to be real. People and move on to something else for right now. Cause I'm gonna be real with you. Everything you're saying about the industry and them silencing you and you not being able to drop music, people don't care, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. People just do not care. You what waited too long to say all these things and people have heard this enough times already. So it's like, this is just a repeating cycle. Another artist after you is just gonna say the exact same thing and yeah. it's gonna keep going on from there. Cause we already know the industry is fake. We already know it's weird. So you just telling us it, it's not gonna make any difference unless you've given us some hard proof evidence it's not going to make a difference to anybody the yeah. situation has been dragged out for at least a month and going I out and too. people are just looking at you like you're the crazy one and they're just starting to care less and less too. so i hope she figured out the i got it figured out bro i'm not even the situation that she's in but honestly like yadi and mitch situation let's, let's just let's get into yadi it said i'm done with the let's podcast and i'm done with mitch i ain't want to do no mother that time where y'all so it's actually over with the podcast and i'm done is miss still continuing what i'm a mother, yeah, I'm a mother rapper what if i told you that he wasn't trolling and that things have been only getting worse for Mitch? she said currently practicing my putting the fries in a bag technique please bring the podcast back with oh, a sad face what? emoji he said well, how i i think wait, we're rolling up the podcast in a backwood as we speak but i'm sure she oh my god what hold on hold on hold on hold on i gotta mitch before I even click enter on a stupid fucking stupid, 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 stupid. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. 
he is crazy. It's funny. This is the last one. <laughs> he didn't even try to come out and explain none, which I'm sure will happen when he comes back. He just, just, he dip. Like, he ain't even care. <laughs> Currently practicing my putting the fries in a bag technique. Please bring the podcast back with a sad face. This is getting so bad. This is actually getting so bad, bro. He said, oh, not gonna lie, I think we're rolling up the podcast in the backwood as we speak. But I'm sure some of y'all need some context, so I'm gonna go ahead and snap it back to the video. Okay. I'm sure everybody know who Mitch is. He could have been known for tons of different reasons. He done some producing, he done some management for Caribou and the Concrete Boys at times. But he's mostly known for being a very close friend to Lil Yachty and even having a podcast. I'm sure everybody yeah, watched before four o'clock at Safe Place. Yeah, and then I still fuck him. I'm not gonna go over really. his whole life. That's not the point of this video. I don't even remember what he did. I just know that they had beef with each other now. So. Yo, but what if I told you, know. you that Lil Yachty really ended Mitch's podcast, the friendship that they had, and left them in a the dust. And on top of that, Mitch even spoke about it recently. But he before did? we get into that, August 21st oh, yeah, last month, when Yachty, Sorry. Mitch, and Key Glock were on the podcast, right? For the story, Yachty asked a simple question. He said, yo, what do you tell a person that's potentially broke and dangerous? And the first thing that he do is pick up a weapon, and this young man feel like he got nothing to lose. This could be somebody that you know. It could be somebody that you're just trying to give advice to. What do you tell this person? And Yachty spoke his side, Key Glock spoke his side, but once it got to Mitch and he explained his side and said, yo, I would just tell him to go find his righteous path and that he needs to get a job or something like that. And Yachty was like, hold on, how you gonna tell that person what to do? But your situation was totally different. And him and Yachty was going back and forth. They got a little heated and it got to a point where Yachty had to say, yo, you had people to guide you. You developed over years, but you had me. Without me, what would you be doing? You had a friend that was- He said this to him? him? And people took that small portion of that clip and made Yachty look horrible. And maybe Yachty was a little harsh or whatever like that, or maybe it was just the argument. I thought he just said it on the on the IG for the first time. I ain't know he said that on it. That's crazy to say to your friend, bro. <laughs> Like, oh but it got to a point where that clip only made Yachty look bad because the clip online was very out of context. Nobody really knew what they was talking about. All you really seen is that Yachty was like, hey, what would you be doing without me? And you know, people took that as Yachty having an ego. And on top of that, I'm not going to go over this again, but Yachty was already getting bashed for the whole caribou situation. And if you want to know more about that, go watch my other videos. I'm not going to go over that again. But he kicked her out on August 22nd, the night before this man's this little Yachty's crazy. birthday. Yachty had all social media platforms against him because of the whole caribou situation and because people felt like he did his closest friend mitch wrong so he then went live i'm sure everybody's seen it yachty went off on mitch and caribou but he told mitch specifically i'm done with the podcast i only did it to help your career i'm a rapper why would i need to do a damn podcast then he told the people that was in his live i had a conversation with mitch before i hopped on live and i asked him i said while i was being bashed by millions on twitter because of a small clip that wasn't that serious of us having a small debate why you ain't going social media and clear my name hey we know why Bro, Mitch, how the, I say, so. Mitch, how the f you didn't go on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? That's what got goddamn six million. I want to see if he's on. actually playing, bro. I want to see. According that. to Lil Yachty, Mitch I replied don't... and said, "Nah, man, you tripping? It's just okay, gang. All right, gang. Um, I want to see the actual clip. Uh, hold on, Lil Yachty, Mitch clip. Clip. I just gotta see how it was." So like jokingly um oh, which way? <laughs> all right so well, i know i'm right so i'm okay what's up? okay what's cool. so let's um, go back to 2015. Oh, we was at my mama's Greece. house right <laughs> i'm at my mama's house now mitch is like two three years older than me all right now mitch came to me and for many years you didn't just start making beats by the way you've been making beats since who knows how long he's been making beats for a very long time all right, and up until how long have we been doing this? Okay, so up until about maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, what, what you spent a lot of time trying to find your steps, right? Right, but so that's, to that's my maybe, point. No, 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 no. Imagine if you didn't have a friend who was already extremely successful to help you get on your feet a lot of people don't have that so what i'm saying is how what do you say because you didn't want to get a job i never even suggested you get a job because i knew you wouldn't get a job so what do you say to it who like hey i see it with a shiny watch i got a gun a dusty gun it's gonna take a shiny watch you know what i'm saying what do you tell it i wouldn't i'm not gonna i'm not gonna encourage it 
But you gotta think about people got I, families. What I'm telling you is this shit you can tell. What? Like even what? If, even if well, what listen, you, think about yourself. Listen, though. But no, no, listen though. Even if then say that's why that's the point I'm trying to make to you, bro. What point? Even if then if I wasn't doing shit righteous then older now so i would not tell it to do yeah, anything he, like i was doing back yeah, then bro yeah, 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 but that's what i'm trying to tell you that's fine but you that's because you've been through you've been through years of 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 development bro that's the point of it so i can what so I'm saying, that's the you, point. but think about remove me from this situation remove me i was never in your life what the fuck would you have been doing who i feel like you might have been doing that shit who knows what you would have been doing if you ain't if if you ain't having to show you uh, yeah, what, about uh, uh, right what are you saying, bro? I'm saying that what you're saying is not, it's not, you're not, you're not, like, it's not true. You wouldn't tell him, hey, man, just go get a job, man. No, I ain't, saying, I ain't saying, no, that's not what I said. I ain't so saying I was telling him to get a job, get a job. I ain't say that. I said I would. Don't know how to think of that. Don't know how to think of that. Um. This is crazy. How you gonna tell another nigga what he how about you go, bruh? Okay. Yeah, they gonna hate you after this one, Kobe. You stupid bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry about that. So Yachty took offense to that. He's like, my own man's don't want to stick up for me. Like, and I'm being tarnished right now. So Yachty hopped on live. No. Why the fuck is my shit? Only to clear his name, but he also explained why he don't mess with Mitch no more. And it's crazy because after Yachty hopped off live, Mitch then decides to clear Yachty. What? Bro, why am I just Mitch not seeing it? It's crazy because after Yachty hopped off live, Mitch then decides to clear Yachty's name, but... Oh. <laughs> you wanted to ask this type, it's crazy. Okay. This guy, you. After the fact of the, the live... So he was just forced to do this then. It didn't come... If this was before the live, I'd be like this. Maybe the live... Maybe he... Maybe Yachty... Maybe if Mitch spoke before the live, Yachty would have never spoke about him. But, like, still, like, I don't even. Stole from me, and we know how many shady ass girls and all that bitches on the A lot of people thought it was because he didn't want to lose his friendship, he didn't want to lose that podcast, like Yachty said, you know what I'm saying? But even if they both had their issue that one of them feel betrayed by the other or whatever, you would think because they've been friends for a long time, they will eventually connect back together, you know what I'm saying? That's how bros is because things been quiet down lately. I haven't been hearing nothing about Concrete Boys, I think that might be done. You wouldn't really think that Yachty's finna switch up on this man's like that just because of a clip, but I'm gonna be real, I went to the YouTube page. Uh, I don't think Concrete's crazy done, I just think like. I don't know what I think with concrete. Um, I hate, I don't know if hate is the word, but I dislike uh, Caribou for her, her, like her as a person, but uh, I feel like concrete needs a woman, you know? And Gio has kind of taken, I feel like for me, cause I ain't even really know shit about Gio until she started popping around on streams. So I feel like Gio could easily take the, the, the spot, but. I don't know. I just need, I just think I need a woman artist in concrete. Like, that would, that would be so podcast, be, right? Mitch hasn't true. uploaded in a month. And not only that, Mitch even had a few things to say about Yachty and the whole podcast on Twitter. Here's what he had to say. He said, currently practicing my putting the fries in a bag technique. We'll update you soon. Dot, dot, dot. And of course, people thought he was trolling. So people was. What? Let me read, in a bag. read the whole thing, bro.
X technique will update you soon dot 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 and of course people thought he was trolling so people was replying yo where is the podcast what happened you know what i'm saying somebody replied to him he said mitch please bring the podcast back with a sad face emoji he oh, said not gonna lie not gonna lie rolling up the podcast in the backwood as we speak dead emoji somebody replied and said make sure it's extra ketchup in there little bro he said nah i'm getting one sauce no ketchup i'm a hater this how to act look then somebody asked where you at so far he said killing the small fries but the extra large is giving me problems to be honest who the still orders extra large anyway and right now you got tons of different blogs out there social media platforms everybody is saying that the Lil yachty podcast is canceled for good because he ain't even uploaded in a month anyway and i've also haven't been seeing any of the concrete boys together like that i'm seeing geo interact with opium more than i'm seeing her interact with any of the concrete boys and this could be very damaging to mitch because that is facts I'm like, oh, oh, shit. Well, I mean, I don't want to think it's over, bro. This is just what happens with Yachty. And I said this from jump. If Concrete is over, bro, I said from jump, even, bef even when Concrete was, like, first announced to the public, I said this shit was not going to work out. Quietly, I said this shit was not going to work out because, respectfully, Yachty and people don't work <laughs> i'm not going to cap because this podcast was what really the fuck good. happened with yadi's other group you know what i mean when will mitch was very funny but it all took i don't know the details but they fucking didn't go well is my point so so fast in a situation you know going both ways because what what Concrete boys, and this could be very. Yachty just needs to stop fucking making groups. Like I, I thought the last group would have told him that. Like, even if just be friends, do a music. Don't even make no dumbass group. Like, like after Concrete, you gonna need to make no more groups, bro. Just don't. <laughs> you know to mitch because this podcast was really doing well mitch was very funny but it all took a turn so fast and the situation just going both ways because you got people that are still saying that yachty's a whole loser for this somebody said all he had to do was defend his friend he couldn't do that so oh well someone said he legit ruined his friendship because he wanted his friends to play pr for him yachty's so lame for that why would you want an irl friend to jump to the internet to defend you from a clip taken out of context and i doubt this is true but hopefully mitch still has connections and stuff like that because it ain't looking too good for him right now he might be trolling about the whole putting the fries in the bag stuff but who knows because i seen something on twitter where he tried to get in contact with yachty and get his new number but the whole situation is just dumb because don't get me wrong yachty is a great artist all right i'm not knocking that but aren't y'all getting tired of him don't so don't get me wrong yachty is a great artist all right i'm not knocking that but aren't y'all getting tired of him starting and branding something and then i just said this i just said this shit bro I literally just fucking said this shit. I'm getting rid of it. He didn't had two or three different groups that he tried to clean and help. I, I just said this shit, bro. That means it's not only my thought. And none of them work. And even with the whole podcast thing, I thought it was a cool move to see Yachty talk more. That's just me personally. But anytime he even do it, he get trashed for his viewpoints anyway. So maybe this might be a good thing. He might have to just focus on his music. And for the people that feel oh, bad for no me, more groups, I'm nigga. sure some of y'all do. This is well, I'm gonna be real, fucking you know, sign. A grown man. I'm sure enough. He hard. If he said it, I said it first. Then he said it with not, with not even watching this fucking four times. This is the sign, my nigga. You know? Maybe this might be a good thing. He might have to just focus on his music. And for the people that feel bad for Mitch, because I'm sure some of y'all do. But I'm going to be real. You know, Mitch is a grown man. I'm sure if he works hard, he can run a podcast on his own. Yachty gave him the spark that he needed. So whatever he does after is up to him. Shouldn't be Yachty's responsibility. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm done, Chen. Let me go ahead and pass it to Char City. Man, we've been talking about yeah. what Yachty this and yeah, careful that. that you could spend your time looking. Are you serious? That was disrespectful as fuck as soon as he as soon as he spoke. Are you serious? Like and I can't skip the shit either. There's been one too many ads this one. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm done, Chen. Let me go ahead and pass it to Char City. Man, we've been talking about Yachty this and Caribou that. I completely forgot about my boy Mitch. Yachty basically said F this and canceled the whole podcast. Now me, I'm thinking, you know, it's just friends not seeing eye to eye. They'll be good in like a week and then they'll get the podcast started in like a week or two. Yeah, that never happened and it looks like it's going to continue that way because it looks like Yachty is about to just pack this whole thing up. Now everybody has seen Mitch's tweet by now and honestly, I think there's only one way to go about this. Mitch, if you 
you really want to do the podcast, I say just start it back up and go from there or look for another co-host. Because I'm going to be real, whether you and Yachty are close or not anymore, Yachty is just not meant for podcasting or just talking, period. And when I say talking, I mean the stuff that he says, it never comes out right and it always turns into something negative on the internet. We literally just watched Yachty go a whole entire month of saying stuff on podcasts or IG Live. And honestly, I don't think some of the time it's his intent for it to come out that way, but it comes out a certain way anyways. And it's literally just been bringing controversy his way for the past couple of weeks. So I think Yachty should just take his own advice and stick to just being a rapper because when he speaks, it, it always just turns into something that it shouldn't be. And Mitch, I'm not gonna lie, you got a lot of people that support you saying that you should just bring the podcast without yachty and i mean if you really enjoy doing it i say just that's go so for cap. it that's cap and that you should just bring right, the pop niggas is just writing podcast without yachty and i mean if you really enjoy doing it i say just go for it because why not you're probably gonna lose a portion of your fan base because you know some of them are yachty fans but it's not like you can't build this back up from the ground you just gotta put it in the work and as for Don't yachty and Mitch's guests. relationship well i mean he already said he wasn't bringing guests but you know. I don't know if they worked through it already. That's something they're going to have to do on their own. Majority of the people on the internet already feel like Yachty was in the wrong or that he was doing too much. So, But if they somehow come back together and bring back the podcast, then I will that's admit, cool. I hadn't but seen the not, clip uh, that's at just all life, before yeah. now. So I guess he was kind of doing too much. It is what it is. Uh, hey. He was kind of doing too much. I'm not going to lie. Like, saying that to your friend and not even saying that you're joking in any point of the in the clip and then coming out and saying like i don't see that as a joking thing you know like i just that's some built up hate that yachty had for mitch as like like not built up hate but like built up um you know built up shit yachty wanted to say and never did and i feel like so i don't i don't know i'm just uh blown away by this whole fucking thing I'm gonna end it there because this has been a long fucking reaction. I did not expect it to be this long. Both videos are eight minutes, mind you. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, take that as you will. Uh, I don't even remember talking for that long, but apparently I did. If y'all enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, man. Damn. Damn. Um, yeah, man. Shout out Yachty. Shout out Mitch. Shout out Concrete.